Hello everyone, I'm Yossi, Head of Product Communications at Odoo, and welcome back to another episode of Odoo's Tips and Tricks. This week is dedicated to some of the high customization tools Odoo offers. And today's topic, we will focus on Odoo SH and what it is. We sadly will not be able to go into too much detail about Odoo SH, giving our time restraints, but we will give you a brief overview of what it is and how it adds another layer of flexibility for those looking to code and develop custom applications and workflows. Odoo is consistently being sought out more and more, not only due to its high level of integration across its various apps, but also because of its high level of flexibility in the creation of applications and custom workflows. Even though our out-of-the-box solution works for the vast majority of our customers with very little customizations, we encourage our users to dive in and explore the possibilities of creating custom apps and or workflows on Odoo SH. Now, Odoo SH is not an application like Studio. It's a platform that serves as a sandbox environment to assist in your development projects. Studio is great for small customizations, optimization of workflows for small to medium-sized organizations, but for larger organizations that look for custom development where the software has to adapt to the workflows already in place, Odoo SH is truly the right tool to tackle this type of challenge. Now, finally, the main difference between Odoo SaaS and Odoo SH is that SH is, your, is hosted on your own server. You can upload third-party modules and custom apps. You can also have access to development branches and production branches. In a nutshell, it offers a tremendous amount of flexibility that you host on your own instance. But before going into what Odoo SH can do, let's first talk about what it is. At its core, Odoo SH is an advanced platform where you can create and test your custom developments. Odoo Online provides an instance of Odoo Basics out of the box and limited to what you can actually customize. In the previous video, we looked at the Studio application, which offers basic customization, and it's a great alternative for those who are not looking to develop or change the source code. If you have not seen that video yet, please refer to the link below in the description. Now, Odoo SH allows the end user to easily test their developments, manage their feature branches, and beta test features on duplicates of their production instance. Odoo SH uses GitHub account called RunBot with unique SSH keys where they can merge, clone, and fork the various projects. It's truly a developer's dream. One can easily register their SSH public key and get connected to any server in only a few clicks. It's quite satisfying to see how transparently integrated Odoo is with RunBot for all types of development flows. Next time, we are going to take a look on how we work on RunBot to the, for the creation of highly custom applications and workflows. This truly brief introduction will hopefully serve as a way to get you excited to start creating new applications within the Odoo environment. If you would like to learn more about developing in Odoo, please contact us directly or speak to one of our business analysts who will be more than happy to answer any questions you may have. As always, thank you all so much for tuning in today and remember to like and follow us to get the latest videos and content on all things Odoo. Stay healthy out there and oh, do it all! <laughs>